Okay, I need to get a new Japanese razor saw. The shorter one I have with the black handle here, they don't have the replacement blades right now. So I think I'll get a longer one, maybe this one right here. It's 950 NT dollars, which is about 34 US dollars. I really like this traditional style Asian claw hammer. I bought a few a while back and got a lot of good use out of them. Uh, they're actually in the States right now. And speaking of the States, I have a small piece of property that I started to develop. I've gone ahead and had a septic system installed and that was really difficult to get done remotely, not to mention extremely expensive. I didn't want any big trees taken out, but I had to have one big fir cut down. So hopefully I'm thinking next year I'll go back and build a shop and whatever other structure I'll put there, uh, the possible future home of GS Toms. I'm also thinking about getting another wooden plane. Uh, I have one very similar to this here that I use quite a bit. And there's one here though, or a couple that have really caught my eye. And that's these right here. And specifically because they have metal bottoms. As you'll see when I turn it around here. The way I use my wooden plane, I've worn out the bottom. And I'll show that a little bit later. The small one there is 1500 NT dollars, which is about 54 US dollars. And this longer one is only 50 NT more, only a couple bucks more. Most small stores in Taiwan are cash only, and I don't feel like going to the bank. I don't have a lot of money on me, so I'll get the plane next time. I've been working on a lot of hammers of late, and so, like I said, my razor saw uh, it's just really dull and there's really no resharpening these the way that they are the way that they're so thin I've gone through more than a few replacement blades It's very true what they say about dull tools being more dangerous The saw just keeps skipping and you can see there I kind of nicked my finger up a little bit So I'll give this new saw a go. Something that I didn't notice when I purchased it is the cross-cut teeth are finer than on the original saw I have. It's not the end of the world, but just be a little bit slower cutting. The rib teeth, however, are the same. Using a good quality new Japanese razor saw is such a pleasure. So you can see the cross-cut teeth comparison here. Just a little finer on this new one. So I've got a few wooden planes and this is the one I use the most. And you can see how I've worn it unusually on the bottom there. And I've done that because I work my handle stock thusly. So I think a metal bottom one would be really useful for me. So I'll pick one of those up next time and I'll probably show that when I'm using it.
I'm in the process of building a new forge stand, but before that, I have to reline my forge. So I've taken it apart. Uh, I've said this before, this is a diamond-backed ironworks forge, and it's just indestructible. I've been using this for years and years and years. No problems. So I've taken out the lining, and I think I can reuse the sides, but I need to make a new ceiling and a new floor. I sharpen a piece of pipe on one end, and I use that to slowly cut open a hole in the ceiling. I've done this in the past in different ways, but I found this method of using the pipe to be most effective on this fibrous refractory board. The ceiling opening needs to be pretty accurate for the forge to run properly. So like I said, this time I just replaced the ceiling and the floor which was really in bad shape. And the sides I just reversed, so that's why they look newer. The new lining really makes a big difference. The forge is just working way more efficiently. Catch you guys next time.